Unlocking the Rhythms, The World of Banjo Jam. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where learning English is not just educational, but also a lot of fun. Today, we're going to explore the meaning behind the phrases, banjo, and banjo jam. Whether you're a music enthusiast or just curious about English expressions, this video is tuned for you. Before we dive into our musical phrase, let's first understand what a banjo is. A banjo is a stringed instrument with a distinctive sound, often associated with country, folk, Irish traditional, and bluegrass music. It has a circular body, a long neck, and is played with the fingers or a pick. Banjos are known for their twangy and lively sound, which can instantly uplift the mood of a song. Moving on to jam, this term doesn't just refer to a fruit spread for your toast. In the musical sense, a jam is an informal gathering of musicians where they play and improvise music together without a set arrangement. It's all about spontaneous creativity and sharing the joy of music. A jam session can happen anywhere, from a cozy living room to a bustling street corner. So, when we combine the two words, banjo jam refers to a musical get-together where the main instrument is the banjo. Participants in a banjo jam often play traditional tunes, and it's not just about performing but also about socializing and learning from each other. It's a communal experience where each strum of the banjo strings weaves into a tapestry of melodies and friendships. You might wonder why a phrase like, banjo jam, is important in learning English. Phrases like these showcase the cultural diversity within the English language and help you understand context, idioms, and the social aspects of language use. It's also a fun way to learn about the cultural activities that English-speaking communities engage in. And that's a wrap on, banjo jam. We hope you enjoyed this little musical excursion and added a new phrase to your English vocabulary. Remember, language learning is not just about words and grammar, it's about the stories and cultures behind them. Keep strumming the strings of English learning, and before you know it, you'll be playing a beautiful melody of fluency. Until our next video, keep practicing and stay curious.